Central side action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Christian is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Well, this offense is going to look to quiet this crowd down. Their big play wide receiver taking the field for the first time. And Collis's talents are about to be on full display. We've been waiting for this, Kirk. And, Brad, as you know, this guy is so talented. He can quiet this crowd all by himself here early on. So I'd expect to see this offense try to look for ways to get him the football and see if he can have some success early to see if he can quiet the crowd by himself. Back to the line, maybe a yard on the pass. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Here we go. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he is drilled at the 32. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game, he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm, and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure, and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Caught open field, and down he goes at the 42. From the 42-yard line, second down. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He decided to keep it himself this time on the option, and he managed to get upfield and pick up the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 35. He's at the 20. He's taken down at the 17. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. From the 17-yard line, first down. Clark gets another handoff, and he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. And here's another third down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And a 
push him out at the seven-yard line. Wow, a long gain, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Tackle made right around the 10-yard line. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's got an opening. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. At the 30. Tackle around the 25-yard line. So it's first and ten after the big run. Feeds it to the back. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. That brings up second and nine. run there. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Receiver's green and he can't hang on. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Cronin looks ready to kick this one off. Warren takes it at the four. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll work the left side. Brought down at the 35-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. Five wide. He tackles him for a loss. Second down and 11. Ball on the 39. his man on the screen. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The Lobos with a three-point lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. From the 28-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line.
defense has had two stops already down here. The five, and it pays off. Touchdown. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Christian ready to kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's tackled at the 46. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings them second and five. From midfield, it's second down. Gets to around the 42. Gets out to around the 32. That's a That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. That's a deep line. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry. Let's go. Run it. Green 95. Finds his man. First down. And they're in. Touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. A nice five-play, 55-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 10-7, makes it to the 22-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Second and 10. Ball of the 22. Henson Daly. Makes it out to about the 46. careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. He makes
makes his way to about the 42. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. They'll spread the field with five wide. He fights forward to about the 40. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. The Golden Eagles will use their first time out of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. They'll drop him for a loss. for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Dion is hoping to boom this one down the field. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Lobos offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver as a go-to man who's drawing so much attention. Really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds and down he goes at the 47 yard line I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. From the 15, he makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Throws a bullet over the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down at the 47. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Slides down to the ground. Easy, 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 easy. Over, 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 over. Gotta make it 
Caught out of the open. Tackle around the 33-yard line. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. This is the eighth play of this drive. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He airs it out. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. The Lobos with a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, but wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Tackle made at the 25. The Lobos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's stopped behind the line. But the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. He steps up, completes, it's the freshman, and they make the stop at the 48. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Second and nine. Ball on the 31. And he's going to be. 
be sacked for a loss. It's the ninth play of the drive. Screen pass. He's got his hat back. Brought down right around the 18-yard line. play of this drive. up about a yard there on the option. That brings him second and goal. This is the 12th play of this drive. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's leveled at the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 49. That's good for being three yards. That makes it second and eight. Bring him down at the 31 yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. And he's tackled around the 30 yard line. And he just 
gets rid of it. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He heaves it to the end zone. receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point, and he adds the extra point. That's three down and one to go. The Lobos with a three-point lead. Cronin gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Around the 40-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ready. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Scrambling. He's taken down at about the 45. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. He's on the run. He's at the 30. Ball is loose. Fumble. They fall on it. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. A score here might effectively end this one. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He makes his way out to about the 35. why defenses hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. 
That time they couldn't defend it properly, and they gave up a first down. Less than three minutes in the game. out to about the 48-yard line. Golden Eagles will use their first time out of the half. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Up the middle for a nice game. Holy picks up about four yards on the play. It might not seem like much, but there's still more than enough time to get the ball into scoring position. The defense is going to have to make some more plays here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. down 10 to go ball on the 35 yard line quick throw to the tight end and he tackles him hard at the 50 just under two to go in the game and he's taken down at the 32 to throw outside. That is made. And it's a whole new ball game. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. He makes the PAT. They're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's tackled at the 31. Well, we're getting late in the fourth quarter. Kirk, you've got to make the most of every possession you have. Hollis is legend now. He's got a chance to grow if they can get him the football. I'd be throwing the football his way early and often during this drive. You never know what can happen once the football gets in his hands. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Maybe a yard on that draw play. Just over a minute left. He 
scramble. He's at midfield. Got some open field. Tackle at the 18. And they convert on third down. Big play here for the offense, and it all starts up front. The line did a good job of sealing their blocks and allowing the ball carrier to almost break it there. Here's an opening. Nice run up the middle. Gooden picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Throws it in a hurry. Big play, and it's first and goal. Now he tries to buy some time. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tackle at the 26. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Receiving That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Fires it out. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 16-yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 16. Fires it quickly. And he's got the freshman. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. From the 45-yard line, second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He goes downtown. They've done it. I can't believe it.
Here's the call from the referee. Delay, Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The Lobos, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.